people would ask me what I wanted to be and I would always say a textile designer. So I guess I'm very lucky in that I ended up doing what I'd always hoped that I would do. I've always had an interest in art and painting. Both of my grandmothers were painters. Um, so some of my earliest memories are painting with my grandma in her studio. My name's Louise Boddy and um, I'm a wallpaper and textile designer. Um, I started my business in 2003 and um, I live and work in Hastings. I think being by the sea actually as well, I think that a lot of the colours that I end up using are very sea-like, either on a you know grey day or a blue sky day. I trained in fine art painting, so I have a very painterly approach to my textiles and my wallpapers uh, when I'm designing. Um, when I first started, there weren't very many people making interesting wallpapers. And um, I did a 100% design, which is a big trade show in London, um, in 2003 and got quite a lot of press coverage from it. So quite quickly, I kind of, you know, my business gathered momentum. I think for me, um, inspiration can come from anything. I mean, I have got a collection called Stonewall and it is literally taken. The whole collection was born from this old stone wall that was covered in lichen. And I just played around with that background and each design is sort of something else layered on top of that background. I did a huge um, installation of uh, urinals with plants growing out of them and old tiles set behind and lots of different types of toilets through the ages, including an avocado suite with plants growing out and all these tiles. And then so out of that, from the back of that commission, um, I then produced, I think it was about nine or ten different tile wallpapers. Since then, there have been lots and lots of tile wallpapers out there. Some people find birds creepy in their home <laughs> or bad luck, but um, I've always really liked them and so, and I found them always, I always found them easy to draw and I guess that's why I like drawing them a lot as well. So more recently, I've been teaching uh, people how to produce their own wallpapers uh, by using lino print. And I really love the, the sort of feel, very sort of slightly 50s feel you get from that. And you get a lot of texture from printing in that way. It's very sort of rudimentary, which I like. And, um, and I really like that slightly crude print with um, elements of gold as well. So you've got that preciousness of the gold and then quite a crude sort of printing technique and I like the two together. Teaching has become a really sort of enjoyable part of my creative practice now and sort of passing on skills and knowledge to people that perhaps haven't ever done anything creative in their life I find hugely rewarding. I think that I really would like to be in a situation where I can just really focus much more on my creative practice, kind of going back to my roots, which was painting, and having that being much a bigger part of my life than it has been. 